All right, I'm gonna show you how with just about three feet of 20 gauge wire, you can make a beautiful bracelet. No stones needed, no extra attachments, no nothing. You can make a beautiful bracelet. You can make these as gifts. You can sell them anything you want. I'm gonna cut out about three feet. Bring the ends together. Use that to find the exact middle. Make a nice little loop. Simple twist. Give it another twist to be sure. And we're off to the races. Now all we're gonna do, simply just gonna keep these two strands together and we're going to do loops and that's it. Bend it around. I keep pressing it and pressing it to keep the two strands side by side and flat. So you can make these big loops. You can make them very tight, small loops. Try to make them tight. And I'm taking this part, I'm bending it at a right angle. And now I'm gonna come around and turn the other way and make another loop. If you see me fold back and forth, don't think, oh, is that the top or the bottom? There's no top or bottom in this until you're ready to get to the next step. It really doesn't matter. The important part is I'm pinching these to keep the loops, the strands side by side, as you can see. And I'm trying to keep it tight. So as I come into my next loop, I'm rolling it. Rolling it. This is going to take a lot of finger strength, especially if you want to do this in 18 gauge, which is also an option, but 20 gauge should be good. So I'm going to come around like this. And it's like when you're on the dance floor doing some kind of special dance, all of a sudden everybody says, switch. You got to switch partners. You got to switch the direction you're going when you're roller skating. So come on, focus camera. Work with me here. So we're gonna make this as tight as we can and then we're gonna switch around the opposite way. We're gonna make the next loop go the other way. Sorry, keep bumping the camera. It's clumsy me. So call this Matt's clumsy art. So here we go. Our next one's coming around. And as you start to see this, you might say, oh, these are not balanced. They're not uh, exactly the same. They're not perfectly symmetrical. And you know what? That's what makes them amazing. So we're just gonna keep doing this, coming around and around. And we're gonna try to keep them relatively the same size, relatively the same pattern, but there really is no right or wrong. And sometimes the more you have a little bit of variation in there, the more people find beauty in it. Now what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna go out too far before you make another loop. Cause these loops, they look pretty, but they're also strengthening it. And you're gonna find, especially when you bend it into the bracelet, that it's, it's gonna make it stronger. So as I find I'm going out too far, I keep reeling it back in. I keep rolling it back. All right, we can uh, speed up this next part. One thing I will say, I think I said it before, but you're constantly pinching, constantly pinching these two strands because they want to fold over each other. They want to bunch up. They want to cross each other. And that's the one thing you don't want, or maybe you do want. You could do your own version. It doesn't have to be like this. But... If you want to do it this way, you have to constantly keep them side by side as they struggle to try to find, they try to roll over top each other. So I'm pinching it every step of the way. All right. So we have now about, about seven inches there don't even need to make it that long. We can make it five. Now here's the beauty of this thing. If you want to adjust it, you can push these closer together all the way down to make it tighter, or you can pull them apart to make it looser. Let's take it what we have right now. And let's finish this part off. Focus camera. There we go. We're gonna make a nice big loop at the end.
And this loop, I'm gonna wrap it around, scarf it around itself right here. Just a couple times. So we get it right about like that. And then we're gonna take our clippers right there and then we just pinch that in there make sure the sharp ends are hidden tucked in make sure there's not sticking out from any angle all right so now we are ready to bend it into the shape of a bracelet and I'm just adjusting these. I'm just going through and making sure all the loops are good. And basically I'm just gonna start on this end. I'm just gonna slowly bend it, give it little bends as I go around. Just little tiny bends. Killing me camera, there you go. And then a wrist is not a circle, a wrist is an oval. So being that this is going to be the bottom of the wrist, this will be the top, we're going to bend it a little bit into an oval, give it a little more tighter bend in the corners there. There we go, we're kind of getting that oval shape. And then remember this guy right here, this first loop. I'm going to take this guy and we're going to pinch him carefully so we don't slip. And then we're going to give him a little, from the base we're going to a little bend up and then we're going to grab him right here and twist all the way around, make that a hook. And then we're going to adjust the hook. you got to play with the hook. you got to get good at making this hook. You'll see why. You want it to have just enough catch that it holds, but not so much that it's hard. You want it to connect easily. So you're gonna bend these and play with them some more, and then we're gonna see, voila, look at that. So now you put it on the wrist, and then the pressure of the wrist should hold it. And you can adjust this to each person's wrist. See, it's a little square there. I'm gonna mess with it some more. And the cool thing you can do, you can make this smaller, and then you can add some jump rings on the end there so that depending on the wrist you could clasp it there or you could clasp it on the jump rings that you extend it with you can make your own jump rings with this wire or you can just uh i always find it's better to buy the jump rings because they usually are stronger you want jump rings to be strong and they're usually made out of a stronger base metal than the copper or the silver that you get and that stronger base metal keeps them from coming undone Now, there's one other last thing I do. Some of these little loops are going to kind of stick out at like a kind of an angular motion. I grab each one and I give an extra bend. First, we start the ones on this side. Do this one, skip one. Do this one, skip one. Do this one, skip one. Skip. Give them just an extra tight, hold their place, and we go the other side and do these ones. And as I did that, I, I lost my oval shape. It's easy, just bring it right back. Again, if you want a more strong bracelet, this is going to be gentle and light on the wrist, which is nice. Which a lot of people like it delicate like that. But if you want a stronger one, you could do 18 gauge, you can do 16 gauge. But each of those loops, you're going to have to make a little bigger or muscle it even harder. Just messing with it, messing with it. All right. Let's see how that looks. Another way you can do it is just go back and forth and back and forth. 
I put that little two curls in the middle just to make it stronger because the back and forth tends to want to separate as you're making it. And then, but this one, you just, again, push it together to make it tighter. Pull it apart a tiny bit to make it looser, depending on the wrist. Here's another one. This time I'm using black gun metal. And I'm going to give myself, again, about three feet. Remember, leftover wire you can always make into a ring. You can make it into anything. So you can make it into earrings. Leave your, always save your leftover wire, if it's, especially if it's more than three or four inches. So I'm taking this. I'm bringing the ends together. Find the loop, and then I'm going to pinch it, twist it, and then I'm going to get these two ends, bring them back over here, and I'm going to wrap them around this guy. I'm actually making this up as I go. I've done this once before, and I can't remember how I did it, so. Bear with me. Now I'm gonna pull these two tight. So now you have a quadruple strand, and this is 16 gauge, I don't know if I mentioned it. So you gotta really muscle it in. 16 gauge, I wouldn't go lower than 18 gauge for this. Again, remember the gauges are the opposite. The lower the number, the thicker the wire. The opposite of what you would think. And so to hold this side in place, I'm gonna give it another little pinch, twist. Now we got four strands. Remember tucking our sharp ends. Oh. Forgot how much more muscle it takes to work with a 16 gauge. You don't really need to go to the gym after this. Your, your gym is done for the week. Make one bracelet and be like, why are you so buff? Like, are you kidding me, dude? I make bracelets. What do you think? So I could stretch these all out and make them completely separate side by side, but I'm just gonna go with this. It's a little twisted. It's a little bit, uh, let's straighten it out a little bit just for fun. Got this side. Nice. Give that a better twist. There we go. Now watch this, ready? Just gonna grab it with the flat pliers and we're gonna go, go ready? We're gonna go back and forth. This is not how I did it last time, so. This is the cool thing about wire wrapping. You experiment, you make fun stuff. There is no wrong, there is no wasted wire. There is only hesitation, and you do not hesitate. As long as you keep moving, you keep winning. That's what I say. You have to hesitate, at least dance. So you look like you're still moving. So you got this cool, okay. So I have more wire than I need here. Maybe three feet was too much. Maybe two feet is good. I'm going to make these tighter. And let's get this guy. We have two loops here. We don't need these both. So I'm going to take this one, bend it backwards, and use it to scarf the other one. Strengthen that. Again, this is impromptu. I'm learning with you. Some of, the, some of the better experienced people can comment on here and say, there is a much easier way to do that. But you know what? I'm having so much fun, I can't stop. So we're gonna pull this. Took a very simple video and made it more complicated. That's what we do. This is gonna be our hook. And now I'm gonna come and make all these squigglies flat so they would be flat against the wrist. Watch this become the most popular bracelet of the month. For a second there, I thought this was gonna be a mess.
barbed wire look there. I would definitely say you could do this with 18 gauge. This, this 16 gauge is really, really challenging. But there's some guy out there with huge muscles going to be like, yeah, let's watch me do it with 14 gauge. Put you to shame. I'm messing with it now, trying to get it flat against the wrist. See that? It's a freaking cool bangle. I like this. Check that out. Unlike other bangles, it opens and closes. 